Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Illinois JCS 2022 Year and Awards Submission Training. Um, Eric, President Eric, is on the call right now. He has to jump off for a meeting, so I'm going to pass the mic over to him very quickly. Thanks, Don. Um, so just really excited about our year-end award um, process that we have this year. Um, the award deadline, as we're going to go over, is a little bit earlier this year, but we want to still see you submit your projects so that you can be recognized for all the great projects we've done through 2022 and all the members that really contributed to that. Um, you know, I know 2022 has been a challenging year for membership. So I know sometimes chapters don't want to submit because, hey, we're down three members. But you know what? I want every chapter to submit for all these awards because all these projects are still making a great impact on the community. Um, so um, we did make the process a little bit easier this year with our online submission portal. And Don will be going through that and happy to have um, awards PM Amanda Birch here as well. So I'll pass it back to you, Don, to go over the rest of um, the training. Wonderful. So Amanda, do you want to introduce yourself very quickly so um, that we know who you are and then I will get started? Yes. What? Oh, thank you for inviting me. Like Eric said, my name is Amanda Birch and I am one of the program managers for JCI USA awards program for 2022. Um, I am a member of JCI Iowa. I've been a member for 16 years, almost 17. I am also a senator, and Iowa has a governor thing, which is our highest honor for Iowa JC. So I have been around for quite a long time. So I know like little tricks and things. So I am here to help you guys and to uh, help with your awards. And if you guys have any questions, because unfortunately this year, like uh, President Eric has said, um, everything is earlier and there is a new part two award submissions that we will go over, which is video submissions. Okay, so I'm gonna start and I'm just going to um, talk a little bit about the Illinois submissions. Like um, President Eric said, we have changed things up quite a, not quite a bit, but we've changed things up to try to make things um, easier for everyone. So if everybody goes to the IllinoisJCs.com slash year end awards, this is the portal um, that has all of our information on it. And all you have to do um, after reading all of these things, you can find the JCI award manual on here. You can find separate submission forms and different information about officer submissions and member submissions. Um, the empowerment award form is new for Illinois this year. We're actually allowing chapters to submit um, for the empowerment award where we normally um, in years past, because it's a fairly new award, um, we, have, we have chosen it ourselves. And there's also a chapter visionary award form. So um, all of these are explained in the JCI award manual and there's little snippets um, underneath explaining them, um, explaining to everybody what they look like um, or what you, how you can submit. But as President Eric said, um, we want people to submit even if you're down in members or even if you don't think um, like you have excelled in one area we want all the chapters to submit for everything because the way that you we get the area of opportunities um, or the different things in that area is if you guys submit to us. Um, we know that submitting awards um, at the year end, especially after while you're doing all your holiday projects, can seem very overwhelming. But I can promise you that if you reach out to myself or Eric or Amanda or anybody um, in the Illinois JCs that has done a submission in the past, I can tell you that um, they, if you break down the process, they are much less cumbersome as uh, you may think. So what you're going to do is when this is Illinois specific, um, so you are going to go to the Illinois submission portal. Normally we would utilize a Dropbox, but this year we have made a job form. So um, at the end of, or when you click on the link, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to be taken to this page where you can put your chapter name, your chapter email, or your email, your contact information. Um, and then they have drop down boxes for everything that you can submit. Um, December 22nd, we will update these forms or online. Um, we just found out yesterday that we're gonna extend our um, extend our 
submission deadline to December 22nd, but they, the SP, the single project entries, all of these are listed. Um, and if you say that you are going to put in for a local personal growth and development, which is ID for us, you can see that local personal skills development are programs conducted. So it tells you exactly what you will be, um, what you can submit underneath this. Everybody is allowed or every chapter is allowed to submit two for every category. So you're just going to put your name of the personal skills development project, and then you're going to go ahead and upload the file here. So you're going to upload your submission file here. Um, if you go down to chapter awards, it will explain the same thing, same process. And one of the cool um, features that uh, President Eric put in, because I am not jot form savvy, was that we can you can save and continue later. Um, meaning you can continue to log in and submit everything on one form, or you can submit it as you go. Um, one of the important things I think that everybody should know about individual awards is it's not just a chapter submission. Anybody can submit for a local officer, a local president, a local member, which is a JC, the rookie, a local family, or any of these um, these listed underneath the individual awards. So just because um, Schomburg might, might not be um, wanting to do a local officer award, I could submit a local officer award on behalf of myself um, to be reviewed by the um, state. So one of the things that I do also want to point out here is the chapter submission forms that you're going to go to utilize. They are in Word. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save as um, and save it to your files or uh, your Google form or whatever you can. And in the, um, in the JCI award manual, it tells you exactly how to save it. Um, so the awards manual is going to tell you that you're going to want to save it. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Um, you're gonna to wanna to save it a certain way when you save things so that we can, oh, there's Amanda, um, that we can pull out exactly what you um, are doing. So this is how you're going to save it. You're going to save it with the award name, um, the chapter organization with us, you're gonna do chapter. So if you're gonna um, do a community, long-term community, it's gonna be long-term community, Schomburg JCs, and then the holiday giving tree. Okay, so that's how you're going to want to save it in order to um, most effectively submit everything and you can submit everything on the job form. Um, but with that, does anybody have questions on the Illinois JC's actual submitting? And then we're going to turn it over to Amanda to go over a few things on how to write a good, what key things to write in. Um, and what JCI USA have changed today. Any questions? Awesome. So Amanda, I'm going to go ahead and turn the mic over to you. Okay. Um, like I said, one, you guys have like an awesome form format for submitting things, which is great. I love it. I kind of want to steal for the US part. Um, new this year is, and you'll see these, uh, it talks about a video submission part it's like a 40 second video and you, you can just talk about like say for a project hey you know we're doing a 5k run we're raising money for the community short sweet doesn't have to be uh too elaborate um it just kind of gives us a little bit more info of what your project or person is doing um it is not a requirement for jci usa it is required if you do win and you have and you go on to international level which is why we are highly suggesting you guys submit. It can be done on your smartphone. Like I said, it doesn't have to be this big elaborate thing. Say uh, you guys wanted to submit SP Eric for it. You guys can, and it doesn't even have to be a video. You can do like a slideshow. So you could put like, you know, we are nominating SP Eric, show pictures of all the things and why he, you think he's an outstanding state president. That is about the only thing that's really changed for this submissions year, other than like they've, we've talked about, unfortunately with year end submissions and national being a month earlier, 
everything has to be in to us, to JCI USA in early January, which is why you guys have a cutoff of December 22nd. For if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, I know SB Eric has my info. Phil Cooper has my info and so does Don, or you can find me on Facebook. I can leave my info. I am a night owl, which is good for stuff like this. So no time's too late to, con to contact me. So then now, now I'm going to talk about some of our, you know, how to make a good submission. One, like they said, just if you're, even if your chapter has lost members, please submit stuff. Because just because you have lost members, we still want to see what you guys have done throughout the year. I know some people think, oh, hey, we've lost members. We're not at growth. We can't submit. No. As long as you are financial with your state, so therefore you're financial with DCI USA, you can submit stuff. And uh, one good thing to do is as much information as possible. If you guys do uh, PMGs, BPG, whatever you want to call them, the planning guides, a lot of the questions you will be asked is on those forms. So we would like to know, like, if you guys have other volunteer organizations help you, write that down. If you guys had to postpone stuff, okay, tell us that. As much information. Some things have like a word cap, we do not. So if you want to send the whole PMG to me, go right ahead. We, like I said, which is why I keep saying it, as much information because your judge, the people that judge your things will not be from Illinois. So we will not know, oh, hey, if you don't put, you had volunteers, but you actually did, we're not going to know that. So we want that information. And then another thing is, proof free, please. <laughs> it sounds silly. Work together to, um, and then work together with either if you're chapter president or your management or whoever does your paperwork. If you guys want to collect stuff so it doesn't rely just on you, that's always great. I mean, we're a learning organization. We help each other out, and that's one of the nice things about it. But yeah, that's my main thing is a lot of information. <laughs> and no, nothing you submit is going to be out of what you can submit. One of the things um, that I want to kind of speak on is measurable goals. I have been lucky enough to be uh, a judge for JCI USA. And I think one of the most important things is if you made a goal at 50%, that you say that you made that goal at 50%. Just saying, if I was submitting State President Eric and I said he attended a lot of events, that I don't know what a lot of events in Illinois is. And a lot of events in Illinois is very different than a lot of events in other states. And as Amanda said, they um, people are going to be voting um, and reviewing these um, from different states. So you want to do measurable goals. He went, State President Eric went to 38 of 100 events in the state of Illinois. Um, he attended 75% of his chapter meetings. Very specific measurable goals so that we all know someone that is completely reading something that has no idea that Springfield is running a holiday lights parade and they run it three times um, in the past. And this year they exceeded the last three years by 300% of attendees. We need to see that because that is a lot more clear than saying there were a lot more attendees than in years past. Um, so put it in numbers. I know not everybody is familiar with numbers um, or wants to write but number with numbers, but those are really good tips and tricks of the trade. Also, there are key words um, that you should utilize or can utilize within um, the GCI uh, USA applications using uh, empowered keywords and words that you hear a lot within 
um, Illinois JCs, um, we're a learning organization, they develop, there's, there's a ton of words, use action words, make sure people feel like if they're reading this award submission, they are there. They are there, they are in person, and they can really figure out what the event is um, per or the per, who the person is um, per this submission, because people are not going to know that, you know, State President Eric has 38 chapters in the state of Illinois. They, they, they're not going to know that they don't, they don't know Illinois. So it's really important to put as much detail as much information as you can in these awards. Um, and this is why I have always encouraged everyone, um, and I can say that I don't always do it myself, but to write down as you're going through your year, um, things that you have done, things your chapters have done, and things that people around you have done, um, so that you're con consistent, consistently looking at um, your chapter president and seeing exactly what they're doing to submit them at the year end. But that is pretty much the summary of how you submit year end awards. Um, as Amanda said, reach out to any one of us. Um, Jesse also has submitted amazing awards um, in the past. So uh, President elect Jesse, do you have any tips and tricks? Are you at your other meeting or uh, are you I there? Go ahead, I'm, Amanda. I'm here. Let me let me turn that volume down. Um, okay, hold I, on just a second, Jesse. Yeah. Um, when you're talk, doing measurable goals, which is a great idea, and I do like that idea, you can also do. I know we always talk about, you know, give us the best, tell us the best. But if you say you have a goal of having 75% of your members and you only have 60, tell us that because it's still showing, okay, yes, you did. You might not have met your goal, but you guys came close. And take, and take pictures when you're at your project or for people, because then you already have that stuff. So when you go to submit, it's already there. You don't have to Facebook stock everything. Yes. <laughs> Jesse? Right. I completely agree. I mean, it's very important to have those kind of measurable results, even if it wasn't what you wanted, having that percentage or something to measure those things off of. Um, like it was mentioned earlier, what you know, some of the chapters that are larger and their percentages saying this person attended a lot of stuff, that's going to mean something different to a smaller chapter and saying this person attended a lot of stuff, like they could have a much more direct role in how, how their chapter is developed versus somebody in a larger chapter that has just attended the events but not had such an integral role. So just making those measurable results, things that to help us be able to when we don't know your chapter and we don't know your state, have something to be able to consider that way. Like if we don't know you at all, how, what do we think when we read this and, and spell check, having somebody to, to revise and spell check, did you miss anything too? Like if you were so involved in the project, is there somebody else that was involved on a different area that could maybe revise and say, Oh, well, this is like, I agree with that, but maybe there were also these things that I saw that were really great about it that maybe you didn't see because you were working in this area and I was in that area. So those are also great additions as well. Right. And like, that, so, I was gonna say, oh. like Jesse was saying, um, and that goes back to the teamwork that, yeah, if you have somebody look it over, especially if, like, say it's a project or a person. You might have missed, like just said, you might have missed something. And then they're like, hey, don't forget, we also did that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot we did this. Thank you for reminding me. You can add that. And, and I, think I that one of the things <laughs> <laughs> I think that one of the other things is even if it's not a big project and not um, a project that you think is, quote unquote, award worthy, I think submitting projects that are maybe the first project that you've done in this area or um, a long-term community project that you've done that may not be a huge project, but it's made a dramatic impact in your community. Those award submissions need to be completed and submitted because those are just as important as a large community project um, that is done and may not have such a community impact as you, you may not have as have had such a large community impact as your smaller project has has had. 
I'm yeah, I agree. Older. Yeah, I agree with what Don's saying because there's like there's some chapters that will submit that for a project, it doesn't seem like a lot to some like the like Illinois or some of the bigger states that they did a project where they delivered 50 like Mother's Day, Father's Day cards to the elderly. That that's not an extremely big project, but that's it's still community involvement. You're still doing this, and we still want to see the even if it's a small project or hey, you know. You guys did a food bank, but you only, you know, was only able to do a little bit. Or like Don says, if it's your first project, submit it. Don't be afraid. Um, just because you don't think it did very well doesn't mean we don't think it did. And you're never going to know how well you did and if for positive or even negative feedback, which I don't I Negative feedback's good and bad. I like to give it only, not necessarily negative, but just, hey, uh, this was really good, baby. Next time, you know, focus more on one aspect more than the other. But you're, that's how you learn, is by submitting this stuff. And then this also helps you for, if it's a long-term project, come say next year, oh, hey, this is what we did. This is what worked, what didn't work. And you can, grow on that. So really quick before we um, end the training, I think it's important because I think sometimes it's, um, it's, it's cumbersome, right? There's a lot of information when it comes to um, year end awards and there's a lot of questions to what things are. So if you go to our website and you go to this submission, um, you can find all of the um, you can find, like I said, you can find all of the information about the submissions in the JCI USA handbook. Um, that's a great place to go. But if you are looking for what a local ec economic development project is, what we did is that we now, if you click, you go on our submission and you click local economic development project or program, there is a description uh, under the title that says, this is a program that is conducted with goals of creating and increasing and improving business. So that is what can be submitted underneath that area. Sometimes if you have two projects or three projects that might be considered um, one under one SPE, you can be creative and you can put it under another SPE because it may have similar or the same goals as um, one of the single project entries. And that is what SP is. SPE is, we tried to make, we tried to spell things out very, very easily here. Um, also, it does have underneath submissions, how you should save um, your, your files. It has um, underneath the, to touch on some of the individual awards that are new, um, the Empowerment Award is a fairly new award, and it is, um, a award that goes for most outstanding individual growth of a member. And this is any member within your chapter. It doesn't have to be a JC or a rookie. Um, it is the, a person that exemplifies the JCI mission and the vision through personal and professional growth outside of their JCI experiences. So if you know someone in your chapter that has grown substantially in their JC, in their per, professional career, because of their JCI experience, this is a great award to submit them for. We also have the special partner award, um, and this is near and dear to my heart because um, uh, I just think it's special to award someone that may or may not be in the JCI um, USA or may not be a JC member. And this is someone that supports you, a very important person that supports you through your JCI journey or your JCI USA journey. Another new one that we added um, this year is the JCI USA Spotlight, Youth Spotlight. And this is presented annually to a child of an active member who's not affiliated with JCI Youth Chapter, um, but they still continue to show up. They continue to show out for JCI USA or J the J Illinois JCs or your chapter. Um, so those are three underneath individual award submissions that I wanted to touch on. And then underneath um, chapter awards, as we explained, um, we have the visionary chapter. 
And these, this is the information about the chapter, uh, Visionary Chapter Award. It's presented annually. This is a newer award that um, this chapter exemplifies the JCI mission through innovation against adversity. And this is really awesome, especially during COVID and coming out of COVID. What has your chapter done um, to make sure that your community is still served, your members are still thriving, and your chapter is being a success? So those are really, really great new, um, new-ish, I would say. Um, things that we have on our, our submission now that was chosen basically by the Illinois executive team in years previously from submissions that were already submitted, but we are allowing the Illinois JCs to look at these and submit um, as they see fit. So it's not just up to us who is submitting these awards. And don't forget that um, there is the individual area of opportunities um, and if you would like to select, um, if you think your chapter was outstanding in individual or community or international or economic, you're going to want to submit one of these awards um, so that this is how we pull out and we recognize the chapters that are not only outstanding overall, but are outstanding in this area of opportunity. Um, it's really important in a state like Illinois, um, where we have 38 chapters fully um, that we, our chapters are submitting and we are acknowledging those chapters around the state. Um, small, large, medium, um, every one of our chapters is unique in its own way. And this is a very um, awesome opportunity to highlight your chapter and how it shines. Um, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can reach out to Amanda. She's available on Facebook. Um, you, I will um, share her email address in uh, the members group of the Facebook page. You can reach out to myself um, if you don't know how to contact me. Are you really an Illinois JC? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm Dawn uh, Stangle at ILJC.com. And you can reach out to any one of your executive team members or anybody, reach out to a senator, reach out to um, an ambassador. Um, those type of people are some of the some of the most unwelcomed but confident feedback and great feedback I've ever gotten is from one that from someone that is farther enough removed from my something I'm submitting. So make sure that you're just covering all your bases. I'm happy to be a proofreader for you. My final tip of the night, um, and I think Amanda and Jesse can agree, do not wait till your last minute. Do not wait until December 21st or 2nd or even the 20th to start these submissions. Start them now. I, uh, they are going to be cumbersome. They will seem more overwhelming the closer you wait till the deadline. Um, and make sure that if you guys need anything, your team is here, your state team's here, your JCI USA team is here. We want to acknowledge everything that our state, our chapters, our individual members are doing. So if, does anybody have any questions? There's only a few people on here. If not, please feel free um, to reach out to myself or Amanda, as I have said. Um, and we are happy to help in any way. Amanda, thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, you have been a really wonderful source of um, not only amazing awards program manager stuff, but support for me in the Illinois JCs and the JCI USA um, organization. I really appreciate you and everything you do. So thank you so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful night. Thank you for inviting me in. Oh, I, no can't, I can't wait to see all the fun, exciting projects at Illinois submits for people and projects. It'll be fun. And there is also, if I am not mistaken, there is a um, uh, what, there is a awards workshop type thing tomorrow happening, correct? Yeah, we are going to do, it's our first one. We're going to test it out, see how this works. Uh, we're going to have office hours. So if once you guys looked over your guys' award form, and if you have any questions, because your guys' is lined up pretty well with JCI USA's. It's the exact same form they fill out. Yeah. I've, so um, we'll be able to, if say you don't under, quite understand what this one means, 
we'll be happy to help you. It's going to be myself, MVP Jesper, who oversees um, the awards uh, program. And it's, I'm pretty sure my, P, my other PM, Sean from Virginia is going to be on. I'm not quite for sure though. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I think he has a project thing. I don't know. <laughs> so there is no excuse what we're getting at. There is no excuse to say that you did not understand or you didn't, you were not offered help. Um, please make use of the office hours and the people that are here to support um, your year-end submission. Thank you guys so much, and I hope everybody has a wonderful evening.